National Assembly has already decided? I don't think so. So after that is done, what next? Deregister UMNO? So all I'm saying is they need UMNO. They know it. But the, but the strange thing about it is they've been spending the last one year trying to destabilize UMNO, break it up. But they need UMNO as a unified force to deliver them the votes in GE15. So this is the uh, inconsistency in the strategy that they are, they are using now. You want to break UMNO up, and yet you want, to, you want UMNO to deliver uh, you know, votes in the next GE as a split party. Doesn't make sense. This is the dilemma that I've been thinking about. If PN or Bersatu doesn't think that UMNO is strong, why do you spend all the effort to basically discredit or try to uh, split UMNO or try to dis destroy it? And eventually, if it can't work, maybe uh, deregister it. So they must, they must um, what do you call it, uh, uh, acknowledge that UMNO uh, is strong. And UMNO will deliver a lot of seats in the next general election. So yes, we are down to three parties. But we still have our, uh, have our anchor of voters to basically deliver us uh, the result that we want in the next uh, GE. We may not end up with the government, with being the government outright by, by winning the most number of seats past the 112 uh, benchmark. But if we can be the biggest, the party with the biggest number of seats, and then we, we will be the ones in the driving seat to basically pull everybody together. Now, PN, please show me where, which constituency that they can actually win. Uh, seats uh, realistically. The results of GE14 are an aberration. Uh, a lot of the issue was, a lot of the, uh, what do you call it, the result of the GE14 was driven by hatred towards Natusin Najib because of 1MDB and then, and then therefore, you know, the collection of uh, uh, ex-AMNO people to bring uh, uh, us down. They won PN uh, Bersatu, especially Bersatu, won with PH votes. Next election, they're not going to get PH votes. That's why they really want the AMNO votes. Now they're not going to get the AMNO votes. So where are they going to dig votes from? And the parties in PN itself, how many can deliver votes for them? If you look at the eclectic uh, composition of uh, PN parties, you've got uh, Bersatu, which is very weak. You've got PAS, which is regional based. And then you've got uh, PBRS, uh, no, no, sorry, PBRS is still BN. You've got PBS and you've got the STAR in, Sab in, uh, in Sabah, which only have a seat each. You know? So their anchor is actually PAS. Gratkan has got zero seats. Even if, they, even if uh, MIC wants to help them, MIC has got one MP. Uh, MCA, if the MCA wants to help them, MCA has two MPs. Uh, you know, coincidentally, they're in Johor, where the state where I'm the deputy chief of uh, UMNO. Well, f will they still end up with two seats or maybe less? Or maybe if they go with us, maybe they get more. So it, uh, that's why I don't see PN uh, being able to, 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 to form the next government because they don't have a strong anchor. Mm -hmm.